What's going on guys? So today is just the coolest day honestly. I mean probably like right now my PBE all-wheel drive billet bell housing and transfer case should be getting to the post office. And this morning when I went to the post office the all-wheel drive cast aluminum trailer arms were already there and I'm just super hyped. October in, in my birthday it was awesome. It was freaking awesome. So I actually am just turning 21. Um, I've been building the CRX for, I'd say three years. And then I had a black one I was working on for two years before that in high school. And I, I put a motor in the black one. I drove it down to the gas station and I drove it back and then I pulled the engine. And that's about how far that one made it. I did a little single cam by tire build. I just dropped the engine in and drove it down to the gas station. It drove a little rough, but we made it. But as soon as I got back, I was ready to move forward and I pulled the engine and I then uh, slowly down the road, uh, I traded some parts. Uh, Ponchi traded my dad some work and, and Sean some work and, and they got a B16B, a B16B to me. And then I was gonna put it in black CRX and I ended up trading the B16B for, uh, I mean, it made 700 horsepower. It was a 700 horsepower Prelude build, you know, A1000 fuel pump, uh, Borg Warner S372, sleeve block, pistons, rods, head springs, retainers. So I traded the B16B for all those goodies. He put it in his, his Integra, so it was just a B16B, nice, clean Integra, really rad. And I was planning on swapping that CRX, that white one, or the black one. But then, you know, as time moved on, I kept working, I kept working. Ponchi got a hold of this white CRX. You know, he started losing space. He didn't really have room for the white CRX anymore. Came down to the shop. Me and my dad talked to him. We worked out a deal. I got the CRX. Then, you know, it sat there for probably a year, no motor in it. I rolled it in. I mounted an H in it, my H. I mounted it front wheel drive, normal. Me and Sean mounted it. We worked till two in the morning, got everything mounted. We made some really sick, like flush mounts. The engine looked like it was hovering almost on the transmission side. It was, it was really cool. And it was awesome. We we were working on the front end, mounting the front end back then. We, we should have mounted the front end so I don't have to mount it now. And it would have been already done, but we're going to get it mounted. It'll get mounted and it'll, it'll get some TLC now that me and Pedro are doing it too. So I'm pretty stoked about that. It's going to be painted white. It's going to match. It's going to be awesome. But so after we mounted all that, I went to World Cup and seeing section eight for the first time and everything, I got back and I was like, I'm going all the drive. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know, I'm going all the drive. So my buddy literally like, I mean, fate was lining up. Like a week after that, my buddy crashed his CRV and I did some work for him and I swat, he had two CRVs. He had a K series CRV and he had a B series CRV. I needed the transmission from the B series one. So he crashed that and he had the other CRV he wanted he wanted to put a, a K-Series A2 head on it. So I, I did an A2 head swap for him. I had the A2 head, of course. And then I, with the labor in that A2 head, I was able to get his whole entire CRV engine, transmission, driveline, the, the whole thing. It was mine. Mine, I, I took everything out of it. I Most of it I still have. And so then i went on the hunt for for wago stuff you know because my dad had just made the crazy cart he'd just gotten all that wago stuff and so we were on the hunt for a wago a wago rear end and a viscous coupler because you know that's the way to go so for a while we hunted for that a while a while and now where we are at today with all the parts we got and everything with our little build we're actually gonna go a different route. We're still doing all-wheel drive. We're still running the S1 built trailing arms. We're still doing the B-Series CRV transmission, but we're gonna use the rear end from the coal truck. 
we're gonna use the winner's quick change rear end. A lot of guys do it in drift cars. A lot of guys use them. And we're, we're still gonna do it with IRS. We're, gonna, we're not gonna do a solid, a solid one piece drive shaft. They make a lot of IRS stuff for the drift guys. And so we're gonna run that. I mean, the gear, the gear ratios are endless. I can make those back tires spin down the whole track if I wanted to, just freaking burn out. But so we're gonna we're gonna test some things and we're just gonna get wild with it. But that's gonna be super exciting. I'm really stoked for that. We got all the parts coming. Everything's just lining up. I need to get a flywheel that that I can time it with and use good good factory bolts with that doesn't have a little spacer in there. I don't want my flywheel rattling loose you know it's it's a common h problem for high horsepower h guys so i don't i don't want my fly, flywheel rattling loose i need to get the, the proper flywheel and and i need to get the proper oil pan and i just need to get the proper everything you know all the hcb stuff get get all the hcb stuff really get the crx just perfect you know i've got a nice set of control arms I've pretty much got everything strange suspension, a front end, the whole the works. I'm I'm building a race car, you know. I have got serious intentions of going fast. So I need to get the K2 shifter. I have a K series one, but K series one doesn't work for the B series training. Pablo did a really rad video. I want you guys to go check out Pablo's video on the K tuner K tuned B series all wheel drive shifter. Super good. Good review on the shifter and i am just stoked to get one i need to get cables um and just start rolling on this thing sean and i i've been itching to get some fab going and building manifolds and seeing what we've got i've got medusa an old manifold they built a long time ago but it doesn't clear any hood out there so i wouldn't be able to run a hood and i really want to put that carbon fiber i want on one i have on so I just need to get all these little details sorted out, get these few parts collected, and just crank this thing out. I am stoked for it though, guys. I hope you're all ready. I need to do a kitchen bracket with the mount for the station brake and then the uh, accord style shifter and stuff. So that's just a quick vid today. Uh, me and Pedro worked for probably four hours. Um, five hours, I don't know. I got here, not even. We just chilled, hung out and worked for a bit. It was a good day. We got a lot done. I cleaned up quite a bit. I need to clean the door jam still. And then, I mean, it's ready. It's ready for paint, you know? It's gonna look sick. It's gonna look freaking sick. I don't know if you guys are ready, but I'm freaking ready, dude. Woo! So, we just got back from the 1320 ice cream cruise. My birthday was freaking awesome. I had a freaking great time. We partied at... Kyle Opolis' house, pretty rad. But my 21st birthday was awesome. This is a little video for you guys for my birthday. And then we're gonna get to the ice cream cruise stuff. This is Goofy Belt, peace out.